What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? Today is a nice sunny day. School outside in the 80s, something like that. But this particular video, I was coming to pretty much address the other half of what I have to tell y'all. And that is the situation that I got going on. That I told y'all I was going to come and tell y'all about. Excuse the dogs, child. I'm just sitting outside and enjoying the weather. But the other half of what I got going on. And that's Grandma. Y'all have been asking where Grandma at, how Grandma doing. Y'all ain't seen Grandma. Y'all want to see Grandma. How, you know, where Grandma, you know, Grandma is, Grandma that. And I told y'all that Grandma didn't want to be in the camera no more. But that was just to really hide what was really going on, you know. And I know some of y'all know that. It probably was something, but I just didn't feel that it was the place, the time to tell nobody what was going on. Because, like I told y'all, certain stuff you need to keep to yourself to a certain time when you feel that God says it's okay for you to release the information out and put it out for everybody else to know. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I did. I kept it to myself until I felt like it was the perfect time to put it out. The time that God wanted me to put it out. The way that he wanted me to say it. The way the message needed to be delivered. Not just spilling someone's business. But delivering a message. You know. Putting a message out there. Not just for. You know. For, for, for my family. But for people that's going through the same thing. For someone to be encouraged. For someone, someone to see that. You know. You ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. So, I have videos that's going to come following with the information that I'm about to come telling you, that I'm about to tell y'all now, but, like I said, I have been dealing with a lot, y'all, and it's only going to take for you to be in my shoes to understand, for you to experience the same thing that I'm going through, for you to understand how I feel, for you to, um, walk this walk. My journey ain't easy, y'all. And God has placed me on a whole new path, a whole new road than I thought that I was going to be on. And you never look for anything bad to happen or, you know, it just happens. It just happens. And as it happens, you just get on that road and travel it or you get off and don't do nothing at all. It's one way or the other. Ain't no in between. And so... I just jumped on board and just kept on going with my life and doing what I need to do to help her to keep on, you know what I'm saying? So that she maintain. And y'all yeah, remember back, y'all say, last time I saw grandma, grandma, she had went out of town and, you know, grandma ain't, and well, y'all ain't seen grandma no, after, no more after that. That's because what happened to grandma happened while she was away from me. Well, when grandma was visiting, Grandma actually, somebody say, you know, oh, her kids can come and get her to visit, but they can't come and get her when you need. She wasn't even with her kids. She was over with, um, she, oh, let me put it like this. She was with my granddad's sister, daughter. So basically a friend of hers. And so, you know, she had known her for all her life and, you know, her mom had passed away. And so my grandma had, you know, was going over there and visiting and, you know, being with her and stuff like that. I guess just to give her company or whatever, because, you know, she probably missed my grandma. She hadn't seen her so long and, you know, she had got to where she wanted my grandma to come over and visit her all the time. So, you know, I felt comfortable with her going over there and didn't let her stay with her because I felt like, you know, she was seeing about her as she should. Well, I know my grandmother as well. And when my grandma go places and stuff like that, my grandmother find that her opportunity to do things that she don't normally do at home and take advantage of people that, that really don't know her. 
And so that means that she's going to eat what she want to eat. She's going to do things she want to do. She's going to um, just go overboard. And like I told her, you know, being, being that my grandmother is a diabetic, when you go away, you have to care about you as well still because at the end of the day, your health is still going to take a toll regardless if I'm there or not. That's why I am the way that I am, give you things in moderation, you know, because you can't have what you want. And it's not my fault that you can't have what you want, but I give you what you need in moderation. Try not to take it all away from you because I know you're human you still want to want these things, but in moderation, in moderation. But when you go and be with someone, don't, don't, don't take advantage of them because they don't know and go overboard. And that's what she did. So while she was over there, that's what she did. Um, grandma took overboard, and our health had took a turn for the worse. And grandma ended up in the hospital. And so I got a phone call on a on that Friday from her daughter, which the woman that she was staying with, her, she told her daughter to call me and let me know what was going on because what had happened to her actually happened on a Thursday, but no one called me until Friday and told me what had happened to her. And when she called me, she was like, I'm finna bring mama home because um, mama, you know, mama ain't feeling good and I don't know what's wrong with her, so I'm finna just bring her home. So I was like, put her on the phone. Let me talk to her. And so when she put her on the phone, I knew something wasn't right. I said, you need to be trying to call the ambulance. That way they can, you know, see about coming to get her. My grandma, she didn't want to go to the to the um, hospital in the town where she was at. So I was like, call the ambulance and see if they will bring her, you know, back here. Which, when she called them, they did. They came to saw about her and they immediately rushed her back here. And my grandmother was admitted into the hospital. <sighs> From that day to this one, it's just been a mess, y'all. It's been a lot. And my life has been just, in a way, it almost seemed like it's just been turned upside down. And, I'm, and it, nothing I can. It's like it's almost nothing I can do bad as I want to do more, but it's like I can't do more. I can only do what I can do, you know what I'm saying, to help her, to make her comfortable, to to see about her, to care about her, to show her that I care, to love her, to, you know, be what I am supposed to be at this moment for her. But then I turn around and I get sick. Then I had to go and see it by myself. So that's why I was stressed out, worried about who was going to be here for her, see about her, you know, take care of her, doing all the things that I was doing for her while I was gone. That's why I was so worried about the child. That's exactly why I was so worried about it. Because at first, Grandma, she was mobile. She was able to do for herself. She needed no one to be here, you know, to wait on her hand and foot. But when her health took that turn for the worst, you know, um... She did need someone here for her hand and foot. But then, you know, like I said, she got these kids that's not there for her. That's not, they're, they're not there for her to support her in the ways that they should support her. Phone calls, visits, helping me, giving me breaks, showing their concern, nothing. Nothing. And it's sad that in situations like this, people have to, you know, someone have to do this by themselves. In, a, in, in, in your mom's time, in your mother, this your mama, time and in, and you don't even care enough to be there. But I do my part as her granddaughter because that's what I want to do, to be sure that she is in the best hands that she can be in, be caring about, be caring about, seeing about, and at least I know that as long as I got her, she's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to mistreat her. And I'm going to give everything that she needs and do everything that I need to do to make sure that she's comfortable. But doing this alone, y'all, is hard. It has been so hard. When I tell y'all, I have just been breaking. 
and breaking and breaking and breaking and mentally breaking down. Just breaking down, y'all. And maybe God just has been mentally breaking me down to build me back up stronger. And that's what I feel that he has been doing because he got to, he got to, he got to, he know, he know this is a lot for me. He know this is a lot for me. So I got to get all this old stuff out in order to deal with the new. This is new. To deal with the new. And I'm trying so hard, y'all. I'm trying. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm trying to keep pushing. I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to stay focused on what I need to do. I'm trying to continue to be here. And I know somebody going to say, Tiana, you ain't got to be here. But yes, I do, y'all. This is my job. This is my job, too. You, I mean, a lot of people don't see it like that. But this not this this isn't a hobby. This not a hobby no more. This is a job. You know? I can't work outside of home if I want to. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I can't, y'all. So, I have to be here to put out these videos, to make the money. You know? So, I saw it like this. I prayed about it and I asked God. I said, God, I said, you know what? I done kept this a secret for a long time. And I feel like it was God's way of showing me, Tiana, it's your time. It's your time to put it out there. It's your time to show them what's been going on. It's, just time, it's your time to tell it. It's your time to tell the story. It's your time to be an inspiration. It's your time to be a motivation. It's, it's your time to release it. Let it go. Hold it in for what? Be a testimony. Be a testimony to the next one. Be an encourager to the next one. Show them that it can be done. Show them what I what I have done for you this far. Show them what, what I am going to be done, doing for you through this journey, you know? And so that's why I made up my mind to just go ahead on and make this video and let y'all know what's going on. I tried to hold in as much as I could, y'all, but holding that in is just, was a, it was a lot. It was keeping me from being my best. It was keeping me from getting on making my videos because I knew what I had, what I had, what I was doing behind the scenes that y'all didn't know that I had going on. So it was hard for me to make videos to even put them out and stuff like that for you guys because of her being in the background, me having to run to her, her knees and stuff like that. And it was making it hard for me to do videos. So once I get into making these videos, now it's going to be easier for me to make them and put them out because now y'all know, you know, I don't have to keep editing and cutting out, you know, her in the background, you know, and grandma knows that I was going to eventually put this out here because when it all began, I was, I was, I was, um, I was recording it. I was recording everything, but I never put it out to y'all. I, I, I put it out from the beginning, um, and I haven't done it up to now because I wasn't, you know, I didn't have the time to. I had to like get myself together, collect myself, and 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 just just face everything that that had been going on and stuff and. You know, because this is this this is a change. You know, this is a big change for me, y'all. This is a big change for me. So I have to I have to adapt to my new situation. I gotta get I gotta get comfortable with what I have to do now. And it was all of a sudden, y'all. It was all of a sudden. So I I had to get used to it. I have to I had to I had to accept it. I had to accept my my new position. I had to accept it, learn to accept it, and I guess that's what I ha had been facing these past you know couple of weeks. That I had just been crying and stressed out and just not myself, just not myself, y'all. I guess I just had to learn to just really just accept it when I thought I did. I thought I did, y'all. 
I thought I did. But you know, I was looking for her to get better sooner, but she's not getting better as soon as I thought she would. And maybe she could have with the help that she, you know, really need, but I have to be the everything that she needs. Right now, I am granddaughter for one. I am nurse. I am the one that cooks for her. I am the one that does everything for her because she can't do nothing for herself. She's bedridden, y'all. Grandma's bedridden. Grandma can't get out of bed unless I get her out of bed. Grandma can't turn over unless I help her turn over. Grandma can't sit up unless I sit her up. Grandma will, grandma, grandma. Grandma is dependent on me, y'all. And insurance don't care enough to want to cover the needs that she needs, that she that 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 she have. And so I'm in the process of having to find her something else. They at least see that she can get the help that she has. And someone asked, "Do she have Medicaid?" Yes, she had Medicaid. She got Medicaid. She got both of them, y'all. The insurance just sucks. They not they not trying to help. They don't care to help. They don't, they want to do as least as possible at this point. So the illness that I'm referring to that grandma has at this point, grandma had a stroke, y'all. Grandma had a stroke on her left side, which affected her whole right side. Grandma can't move her legs. Well, I take that back. God forgive me for that part right there. At first, grandma couldn't move her legs. She couldn't move her arms. She couldn't move her foot. She couldn't. She couldn't move nothing on her whole right side. And it it, it kind of like twisted her mouth and everything in the beginning. But as time went on, and the more and more I have worked for her, grandma has got movement in her legs. And but she haven't gotten movement in her arm yet, so she's she started she's starting to get movement in her legs, and every week I'm noticing she getting more and more movement. So I pray to the Lord that you know she get full mobility back, you know, with time. And that's why I say with therapy, I know that she can get them, but they just not trying to give her that, and so it's harder on me because I like I was trying to finish tell y'all before I actually told you what it was. I'm her nurse, I'm her granddaughter, I'm her therapist. I have to be a wife, I have to be a home, I have to care for the home, I have to do, you know, I, I have a lot on my plate, y'all. This is it's a lot. It's a lot it's a lot for one. It's a lot for one. <sighs> but this is my duty. I'm on assignment. I feel like I'm on assignment, y'all, and I and I and I can't give up. I can't. Bad as I want to say, I quit. I throw the towel in. I can't. I can't because. If I do that, I know she's not gonna get the help that she's need that she need. I know for I know for a guarantee for one thousand percent fact she ain't gonna get the help that she need. And so that's why I try to tell her, Grandma, I need you to help me to help you. Work with me, work with me to help you. This is a lot for me, but I'm willing to do the job to help you. I just need you to show me that you're trying to help yourself because like I always been trying to tell you from day one since you've been with me, somebody got to care. And if you don't care nothing about yourself, I cared enough to care for you. 
So now I need you to care enough to care for you. You know what I'm saying? That way you can get better. This right here is between you and God. I'm doing my job. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But you gotta put in work to get back to yourself. It's not gonna, it's not just gonna diminish. It's not just gonna go away just like that. You gotta put in that work to get back to yourself. And that's what she don't wanna do. She don't wanna put in that work. There's days that she tried and a lot of days that, you know, I I just don't know. I just don't know, y'all. But it's been so tough on me, y'all. It really has. It's been so tough. So now you got all the pieces to the puzzle, and that's what I really have been dealing with, y'all. This is what I've been dealing with. This is why I've been stressed out. This is why I've been crying. Maybe that's why I, I went into the hospital. I told y'all I needed a break. That's why I needed my break, y'all. That's why I needed the break. That's why I needed the break. I got a lot going on. I got a lot. And I'm only one me. I'm only one me, y'all. And I tr I'm trying. I'm trying the hardest I can to keep pushing and keep doing what I'm supposed to do. But it's hard. It's so hard, y'all. It's so hard. And I don't want to give up, but Lord knows I don't want to give up. And I pray to God I don't. But a person only can take so much, you know? A person can only take so much. But I guess that's what I got to deal with. So... I guess for this video, that's it, that's all, that's all I really, that's all I can really say right now, y'all, that's all I can really say because my mind just clouded with so many different things, but it's like, I can only say so much, right now, anyway, I can only say so much right now, but y'all just, just, just continue to keep me and my family in y'all prayers. Just continue to just pray for our pray for our strength. Pray for my strength, y'all. For the ones that sincerely praying. And I thank y'all. I do. I thank y'all for praying. But until the next one. The next videos after this is going to be going to be me showing y'all, showing y'all grandma, showing y'all grandma from day one of when it all happened and what she was like and what she's like now. You're going to notice some heartbreaking things. You're going to notice some You're gonna notice some, some, some. It, it may make you a little emotional. I'm just gonna go, go ahead on and forewarn you. It's, it may make you a little emotional, but through this journey, it's gonna put a smile on somebody's face. It's gonna encourage someone. I know it is because it's gonna show y'all what God has been doing. That's the reason why I was documenting her journey. That way I can see her progress. That's why I started documenting. I wanted to see the difference. You know how a lot of times that 
you know, when when something happened and from the beginning to the to the end, you really don't know how much you drastically changed. But when you document it, you really realize how much you have made a change. And so that's why I started documenting. Because I was like, I want to see. I want to see how God just stepped in and just really just, just change up. You know, this is going to be something so good to look back on later on and see how God has took her from one place and elevated her. You know? So, y'all going to be seeing that. So, I know that I was doing a lot of cooking videos and stuff, but I can't tell y'all which way my videos is going. But I know a lot of my videos is going to be based around um, being a caregiver. That's what y'all going to be seeing from now on. A lot of stuff about being caregiver because this is what I have to do every day, all day long. And I really don't have much time for me. That's why y'all see me in sleepers a lot now. And really not dressed up and looking cute and all this stuff like that. But yeah. And and those days that y'all saw me where I was dressed up every day. I was going to rehab those days. Visiting her in rehab. She was in rehab. She was in the hospital. That's why y'all saw me like that a lot. So, I know some of y'all was questioning, but you shouldn't question why a person get looking cute. But I was doing, you know, yeah, that's where I was going. When y'all said, Tim, where you coming from? Where you going looking all cute? That's where I was going. That's where I, that's where I had come from. I was going to rehab. Sitting and being with her. Monitoring, watching those nurses and and stuff at the hospital and all of that, making sure that they doing what they have to do. And it's a shame that you have to sit at a hospital with someone just to make sure that they doing doing their job. When they went to school to care for these patients, but they're not doing what they're supposed to do. So we as family members have to sit up in there just to monitor them and make sure that they doing what they're supposed to do along with being a support to your family. And it's it's, it's sad. It's sad, y'all, because we, we, we can't we can't have a life like that. You know, but I did it. I did it, y'all. On top of still trying to be here and make videos for y'all. I did it. I got a lot. I got a lot on my plate and I know that I'm strong, y'all. I know that I am. But sometimes a lot of times you know, I'm going to tell y'all this right here. People, people say that if you if you, if you you know that you got a strong queen in your family, don't think that they so strong that they don't get weak. The strong need someone to see about them as well because we take a lot. So just always remember that. Check up on the strong ones as well because sometimes they may need someone to talk to, someone to listen, someone to just come and visit them, someone to show them that they care about them because, you know, they're looked at all the time as they don't need no help. They used to doing whatever they doing or they strong or they take a lot or nothing really break them, but that's not true. They just don't tell you that they're breaking down. They don't tell you that they're emotional. They don't tell you that they're falling weak. They don't tell you that they're in need. They don't tell you that they need help. They don't tell you that I need you to listen to me. They don't tell you that they're crying. They don't tell you that they're scared. They don't tell you how they really feeling. They always let you see that they're strong. But don't fall for that. Keep a, keep a watch on them. Check up on them because they need you too. So, until the next video, y'all, I thank y'all for watching. I thank y'all for listening to me. Because I really don't have to be putting this out here. But I am. Because I feel like I'm, I'm on a job. I feel like I'm on a job. A job for the Lord. Assignment. He gave me a, he gave me a job to do. And so, now I'm here to do it. But I'm here to share it. You know? That's it, that's all. But yeah, so. <sighs> Here goes. On to. On to day one. Y'all have a good one.
Peace out.